side, we are going to actually start to draw your symmetrical design onto your pot. And you're still gonna use your pencil at this point. You're not gonna carve until you have it drawn on or sketched exactly the way you want it to be. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing in each section on my pinch pot. So if I start at the top and I make two scallops in this section, I'm gonna do the same thing in the next section. All the way around the pinch pot so that I make that design carry through and then the entire thing will be symmetrical. Now here's where it gets off a little bit. If you have one section that's a little bit bigger, just kind of make it work so it looks symmetrical or it appears symmetrical by design anyways. That's why I said it didn't really matter if it wasn't exactly perfect. You can kind of fudge your design to make it as long as you make it all the way around the same. So now I have that scalloped edge all the way around. What I wanna do next is I want to figure out a way to carry my design through. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna divide this even further in each section. I want to make a line come down to the middle. So I'm gonna draw that in there. Basically, whatever design you choose to do is up to you. You just have to make it the same in each section. And once you do that, it'll make your design become symmetrical all the way around your pinch pot. So you can see that every time I do something in one section, I do the exact same thing in the next section, all the way around. So you can see my design is already becoming symmetrical just by dividing it into those eight quadrants that we had, okay? And then from this point, I can just keep expanding on my design. So now I'm gonna draw these two little lines that come out. And it's just about adding lines to create your pattern on your surface of your pot. Now, the more I can tell you, the more design you add, the neater or more appealing they become once they're finished, once we start the carving process. So now you can see there's even more design added. Then at this point, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this in my hand and come back this way and you can see what shape I made there. You can see the diamond appear in each section. So when I actually start to carve, I can either carve the line down the middle of the diamond or I can leave that and it'll stay covered by slip and you won't even see that that line was there. It just helps me to continue to draw so that my design stays symmetrical. So remember, whatever I do in one section, I'm always gonna turn it and do it the same way in the next section to keep my design symmetrical. And the more detailed your design, the neater this is going to appear to the person who's looking at it when we finish. So I'm not really pressing all the way through yet. I'm just getting my design lines created in the surface still. And if it's not exact, it doesn't really matter at this point because your pinch pot isn't perfect either. But what it does do is creates the same design in each surface area. And then once you have your entire design created, this is when you're gonna use the small ribbon tool. And what you actually want to show up is what you're gonna carve out. So when I wanna see this diamond in here, I'm gonna carve down through the surface and it removes the slip. So do you see how it looks gray in those areas now? When that actually gets bisque fired, that will appear white. So I'll have a white diamond right there on my design. And then I can carve out, I want these two scallops to show up. So I'm just gonna make sure that I take my ribbon tool and carefully see how I'm turning the ribbon tool to actually pull the clay and the slip out of those places and do it carefully first so you can make sure you don't make a mistake on your line. The thing about the carving is, is once you have it carved, you can't go back. You can't put the clay back in. So if you carve it out you can't, and you make a mistake, 
you have to just alter your design in each space and have it work. So I'm just carving out one of these so you guys can see how the design will look at this point. So if you don't want to see a line in your design, just don't carve it. So if I decide I don't want this here, I won't carve it and you won't, it won't show up. Okay. But if I do want it to be there, all I have to do is take my ribbon tool and carve the small design from your pencil out. And I'm just going to keep repeating it in each section until I get the whole design to show up. If you don't want to see these dividing lines, then don't carve them the ones that we did first, the eight lines. If you don't wanna see them, just don't carve them. And then they won't show up in your actual design. Okay, anybody have any questions? All right, if you do, just raise your hand and I'll come around um, and help you at your spot, okay?